Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we're going to be talking about peer pressure. So again, nowadays we're pressured to do so many things in life. There's so many pressures that are external that happen in our lives that it's hard sometimes to mitigate and manage how we really feel about things and what we really want to do and what our internal moral compass is telling us to do. And in Islam, one of the most important things about being a Muslim and having faith and being a believer is also maintaining and having high levels of ethics and morals and character. So how do you do this? A big way to do this is by having really good friends. So in Islam, it's seen as something super positive to have friends who pray with you, who do the right things with you, who donate with you, who go to soup kitchens with you, who do charity work together. You want to have friends who do the right things. Because when you have friends who are doing a lot of wrong things, in turn, you're going to be doing the wrong things with them. Even if you're just around them, that environment is not conducive for your spirit. You're going to be getting into more reckless behavior when you're around more reckless behavior people. Because again, your circle, your environment really makes up what you are and the actions that you're going to be getting into. Because your environment really matters. And people always say this quote where it's, show me your five closest friends and I'll show you your future. If your five closest friends are people who are always talking business, they're talking how can we save money and mitigate our risk and do this and do this and build a business and work really hard and get these really good jobs, then you're going to be the sixth person who's also doing all that. But if you're around five people who are constantly going out every weekend, drinking, smoking, having a good time, sleeping around, doing all these things, then that's what you're going to do as well. And even if you're not doing it, right, say you have so much strength and you don't do it, then why are you still surrounding yourself with people who aren't doing what you're doing? Again, you have to find that niche circle that you're part of and then build upon the people you're around. And this is something really important because we can't choose our family, but we can choose our friends. We can choose the people that we have around us in our lives. And when you choose the right people around you in your life, you're going to be motivated. You're going to feel this sense of drive and passion and purpose to get to the next level in your life. And when you have these strong little people around you, you're going to become more successful. There is a hadith that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said this. A person is likely to follow the faith of their friend. So what does this mean? That you are likely to follow the religion, the beliefs, the character, the morals of the friend you had, the people around you. And the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, talked about this. And he exclaimed to us this, that within Islam, within our nature, that this is something that's really important. And again, if the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, talked about it this way, then clearly there's a strong message here to be understood. When you have these good friends, you're going to have a stronger moral and spiritual boundary, right? You're going to have these people that are, you know, they got your back. People who are there for you. They're telling you, to, they're praying with you. They're making sure you're making du'a. They're making sure you're fasting. They're making sure you're reading Quran. You're staying up to your level. And they know your potential because they see you. They've been with you. They're in the mud with you. So they want to grind and get to the top with you. So again, having that moral and spiritual backing from your friends is really important to becoming the best version of yourself. And it's really good when you have people around you who have these similar values and do similar things to you. Because again, you won't feel alone in this life. And again, nowadays, we're having a loneliness epidemic where we are so lonely and we feel so distraught when there isn't a lot of people around us that are on the type of time that we're on. And again, this is something that's really important in Islam is finding those people that are conducive to what you want to become and the environment you want to be within. And at the end of the day, something that sounds silly, but it's true, is that we're all competitive people, right? We all have this inner competitiveness that we have. When you see your friend doing a good deed, you're thinking, okay, let me do a good deed too, right? You have this feeling. I have it all the time with my brother where I'm noticing him doing a good deed or this. And I'm like, you know, like that, that motivated me. I want to do it too. I want to be good too. It's you push each other. And having those people around you that push you is so important to becoming the best version of yourself. Again, the main thing in Islam is to not be led astray. You don't want to be led astray by the temptations. You don't want to be led astray by the friends who are going to get you doing the wrong things, get you acting a fool, doing things that you know you shouldn't be doing, things that you'd be disappointed with when you're alone later at night. And when you have those good influences around you, you'll be getting into those scenarios as often. And even people during the times of the Day of Judgment will be saying things like, I wish I would have taken a good companion. I wish I would have taken a good friend. Because again, these are the people that either will bring you to heaven or hell. The people that you surround yourself with. And it's deeper than just, oh, like they're going to make me stay up late versus not. No, it's not just that, but it's about the types of things that you're doing together, the activities you're getting into, the conversations you're having. Are you sitting around talking, just backbiting people, talking bad about people? Or are you talking about how you get to better yourself and improve yourself or how to be the best version of yourself? Or are you, again, just smack talking people behind their back? So again, there's levels to it, right? Knowing who you have around you and being able to stand on that and be, hey, I don't want that type of energy in my life you're going to notice the levels of success in this life and the next life, inshallah. All in all, make sure you go after having good friends. And if there's someone that is attractive to you where you're, they seem like a good person, they have this niceness, their authenticity, they're kind, the way they treat others, the way they treat elders around you seems attractive, go say hi to them. Try to be their friend. And again, if you yourself don't feel like you're the best version of yourself, look for those people. Fix yourself and then watch as you fix yourself, you find the people that were meant to be in your path. 
something I've always noticed in life is the more I've improved in my life, the more I've tried mitigating myself and removing toxic environments and toxic things that I used to do, I started noticing better people around me in my life because I improved as well. So again, life is that mirror where the more you work on yourself and better yourself, the more you're also gonna find that in other people. So thank you guys again for tuning in. Every Friday, inshallah, I'll be posting a video just talking about different things, spirituality and different things about Islam. And again, make sure you go out of your way to try to find a new friend this week. Go out of your way, try to find someone, talk to someone, interact with new people. And if you feel that your friends you have are good, then that's great. But again, make sure you're still pushing each other. Don't get complacent. Thank you guys again for tuning in and be sure to leave a bunch of comments, like, subscribe. Because again, I love seeing what you guys have to say. It really makes me happy when I see people talking about it and having conversations in the comments. Again, like it, boost it on the YouTube algorithm to get good positive content all over YouTube. Thanks again for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next week, inshallah.